Hi, Sasani, and welcome back to Beth Mudoni channel. I hope you're doing, doing good. We are doing great. And you know what? After our election 2021 last year, we all thought that, oh my God, now Algeria market is out of the, out of power. And what is going to happen to the foreigners? We all thought that it will be tough for us foreigners. But to our amazement or to my amazement, it was as easier as, uh, as before. Let me say as before, because before people could get it, as you all know, the place where you get it tough to get papers, let, call, let me call them papers or citizenship, working permit, it's here in Germany. You have to provide so many things before they agree you to be part of them. And so the new government came and said, you know what, for the foreigners who have been here for good five uh, years, they have been working, paying their taxes, uh, not depending on the government, these people should be given a citizenship of which in the years before it was not possible. It, you had to do so many things and they could just give you uh, just they give you uh, this we call um, unbefristed like they give you uh, some ears and say you can stay with that, with no worry let me see so but they said no these people if anybody want and you have been here for five years you can go ahead and apply for the citizenship and then they came back and said you know what we have people here in Germany who have been in a uh, Azur home. Azur home is a refugee home. And these people, they have been like people who have been going to, to German school, people who have been trying to go to work. And they say, do you know what? These people, we have to put them into a uh, into one year investigation it's like they are investigating how good these people can be in the society so what they are doing they are saying okay if you are in a refugee camp and you have already stayed here for over five years in germany add a refugee uh, camp let me say so that you have been here you are a refugee you should also be given this possibility to go outside work like other uh, other people integrate with other people most of the people who live in refugees camp they are given the possibility to go to learn the german language that is this that, that is the one thing that german people do it for all people they don't care where you are but they want to see you in uh, somewhere where you have a shelter where you're going to integrate with other people and they know integration comes when you have the language so the first thing though the things that uh, they they do mostly is to take you in a language school so they say now you can have you have your own uh, you you have a language uh, that you can communicate with people outside and you are willing to work you know what we are going to do uh, to you as a refugee we are going to give you one year where we will be uh, investigating what kind of thing that you are you're doing are you good to our society can you get into German culture, can you be somebody that we can rely on? By this I mean they said if at all you have never been seen with, with any accuse from the, the, the uh, you, you, you are not registered as a criminal or you did this or that because that is the thing that the German uh, government don't like when you are uh, you had somewhere a violence you did this with, with drugs you know like foreigners we are watched with the, with our eyes or in every corner it's like somebody is just watching at you and so they said, if at all you are clean, let me say this, if at all you are clean and you have been here in Germany for good five years of or for over five years, we are giving you one year Arbeit Erlaubnis or Aufenthalt Erlaubnis 
where this one means that you you are given a, a document that says you can work here in germany and those are good news because before mm, 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 it wouldn't be easier it wouldn't uh, there are people who you know them those people you uh, from your family or you uh, the one who is watching my video you know you have been here for nine years as a refugee nothing have happened but right now it was a good news and today videos uh I wanted to combine it with the situation right now. The situation right now, it's like, you know about the war in Ukraine. And so, uh, the Ukraine people, as a, a Ukraine or somewhere where there is violence, these people are given the possibility by any other country to go and seek for refugee. And so, the government of Germany says, you are all welcome and you can come here in germany and they make it easier they they say that the the like uh, let me go with the school the student that the student if there are teachers who comes from ukraine and here is a group of students or pupils uh, who are supposed to go to school they should be having their lessons as normal that uh, i mean as normal not normal but they are saying that if they are there the students are there they should be joined in small groups and a teacher can be somewhere that where uh, th these people or different group can uh, can join the online online learning uh, uh, through the system because most of the Ukraine they say that they uh, due to Corona most of the the schooling was done online and so they are saying why should this student just stay idle and there is possibility of going to school so the government of germany like last week they were saying they are making sure that they give this possibility and they had started with with small groups and so they come again and say what about those people who are uh, who might be working or those people who want to work in germany and they say you know what these people are not going to be considered as refugee if you come from ukraine and you are in germany know that you have the right to have an orphan heart allowedness this means that you are allowed to stay and work in germany by this they have said everybody who comes from ukraine and this person is in germany and registered as a refugee in germany you are given one year six month working permit to stay in germany work in germany because the government of germany says due to corona we don't have so much resources we cannot allow these people just to say stay idle although this there might be a person who would like to work because when you come from such a situation like the ukraine you cannot say that everybody is capable of uh, of working some people have just they they are tra traumatized such that they just they 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 are under medication let me say so and so the government said, if you are there, you want to work, you can work. By the way, they are giving them the German course, which they call crash course. Crash course has, uh, it, uh, it means that you go to a, a German school where German is taught very quickly. You can stay like six hours a day, you are doing the German course. Or four hours a day, uh, four hours a day you are doing the German course. So you are integrated very quickly. And so they said, if you're there, you are willing to work, you are willing to learn the German language, there is that possibility because you are given with no question where you're going, the places where they are taking these people. They search for you a place to stay. They, they, they pay for you. At first, they have also said that if you come from Ukraine and you, uh, you, 
you as you have been given or you have been registered as a refugee here in germany you are given the possibility to get the social benefit that means these people are giving the people from ukraine the social benefit that means if at all i'm here uh, i get my i can get i have the possibility of getting the social benefit the same case to the person who comes from ukraine you are given the social benefit such that you can also be able to pay your rent uh, buy yourself food uh, just be like the, any other person here in germany and so for the first one year six months that's what the the government have decided for the first one year six months and now come another question and this is a question which uh, many of you have asked me in my email beth what about the ukraine war is it affecting the immigration yes it is affecting the immigration why one thing like uh the people who are coming from Ukraine, some of them are doctors, some of them are nurses, some of them are, they, they worked. No? That means that these people will come here and they would also want to, to work. Not everybody would like to stay idle. They would like to be teachers. And so what they are doing is to help these people i know from experience because the way i communicate i i could communicate to those people who are giving you the 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 contract it's not the way i can communicate with them right now right now the government have said ukraine people have the priority they they are giving like those people who are already here they can work in those sections give them the the priority to do this and if at all you cannot give, uh, it's not possible then you are allowed to go beyond and there are those companies who have experience like somebody uh, 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 um, a company in uh, uh, München, this lady told me, I have so good experience with the Kenyan people. And since we started our uh, volunteer, uh, this uh, a volunteer, taking people to come for FSJ, we have been taking on the Kenyans because we have a good experience with these people. And we, we don't want to change. We ha don't have a reason to change and say to the next year we are going to take another people from another country so there are those companies who want to stick to their program or to, to what they know and so if you ask me is it affecting it will affect but one thing that you should note that right now you should not go not go ahead and say i won't finish my german course because not only the ukraine people even to those people yeah uh when i started the immigration uh process or the videos that i posted to you many people were writing to me you know beth i'm there i'm in i have started my german course and later they could also write to me you know what i decided to quit i didn't have money some said that it is so hard and um, to if i tell you the truth only few have made it because most of them people they have failed in exams and you know if you fail in exam you have to search a way to go back and do the exam or you have to start searching for companies that don't need be one and this one is becoming hard at the, at the moment many companies want be one be one then and the reason they want be one they want you to be a volunteer person in their company and later they want to make to 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 get a, a far craft far craft is to get a a teacher from you a teacher or not a teacher let me say they want to, you to remain in the company that means this company will take you as a volunteer later after volunteer they will help you do the training there and that that means you're going to stay uh, at their place for four years 
and later you can decide decide to remain there of which many people decide to remain at the in the companies that they have done their training and so they they know that they are doing this because they need it, they need you later they want b1 because they know this b1 is going to help them and help you to go ahead and so ukraine war is going to affect here and Ukraine war, we cannot, uh, we cannot say anything because even though we were in this situation, we would like people to handle us like that because we would like so much to stay in our countries, but not everybody. And why am I saying that this will affect, you know, like a person who was working in Ukraine have lost everything, a house she don't have it anymore, the company where she was working, it bombed, and such thing. Let me ask you, will you just, just go because it's your country and you say, no, I want to go back in my country, I just want to go and struggle? No, these people, most of the people are going to remain here. And at the moment, I think I checked uh, three days ago, and at the moment, over 200,000 registered refugees from Ukraine are already in Germany. These are registered people. That means they are those people who did not enter through the border. Meaning that they are already here, but the number is not included in the two th to over 2,000 uh, 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 refugees from Ukraine. So don't check on what uh, the world is doing because when you check what the world is doing you will never it's like late now i say you know what people are fighting i won't go ahead because people are fighting you just stay there and wait until the war come to you or until you hear that there will be no war so we keep on fighting every day we, we don't know how a day will uh, we'll start. So let us go with that hope that we are going to go to our destination and let this not make you just feel I'm weak. I cannot go on. I'm telling you, your destiny is God who have it. And if he have planned that you will be here in one way. And another thing, people, these people, these white people, they don't want to do the things that, or the volunteer jobs. They want to work and get paid. Nobody want to say that I'm going in Germany for volunteer. They don't want. There are men, uh, 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 the, the Ukraine people, they are allowed to, to, to come easier in Germany than we, but they don't do because what they will get here it's not that uh, that what they want and so i cannot tell you to uh, not to stop dreaming what you would like to be or where your destiny is i would like to tell you just go ahead and just forget there is ukraine war yes but even those people they want to go back to their homes and these people they don't like to do what we as volunteer from africa want to do or from other country want to do everybody have her own i usually tell you they just bring their mothers their fathers just to a home and they have the possibility to get money to watch after or to take care of uh, after the uh, the uh, fathers and mothers so these people tells you well that we don't have time to waste on somebody they just want to have their dream and bastard so they don't 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 say that there will be no job for you because there are other people they don't like the jobs that you are coming to do here